So we're going ahead and we're booting up to the Raspberry Pi uh, Ras Raspbian Stretch Lite. I got that on an LCD screen and I got the TT-Bit L1 as script liner plugged into a 24 watt USB hub. So we got the Raspberry power supply and the LCD screen power supply. And we went ahead and configured it with BFG Miner. And uh, that's just the default configuration that it comes with. So you can see it's a little bit taller than, say, a uh, Future Bit Moonlander 2, but it's got a nice heat sink on the back, back some status lights, etc. And we'll just let that load in. Alright, looks like we're booted up and in, so we'll go ahead and use the default configuration on this TT-Bit L1. Like I said, I'm doing this on a Raspberry Pi. So I should have these pre-configured already, so I'm using the default BFG miner. And I'm using the, the Moonlander config actually with this guy, which you can get from Future Bit. But I'm sure TT-Bit has a different tweak to it, but this all seems to work just the same. And we'll go ahead and kick that off. So my clock speed that I'm using is 720. Uh, default is 600. I haven't modified any voltages or anything. And this is connecting to pro hashing. So it looks like it's doing about 4 mega hash. Uh, high end 5.53. Wow, that's pretty high. Um, that'll average out as it goes along, so probably somewhere between 3.75 4.2 mega hash. And uh, yeah, you just leave that be, and it uses about 9 watts, which is cool. Um, as we can see up here, it's running along. And you get some status lights blinking on it, which is cool. So yeah, it's the TT Bit L1.